Hi, Chapter 4 talks about manipulating uh, GIS data, attribute data, so we can form GIS data. In this exercise, what we're going to do is try to add Excel data to a particular map, even though it's just in tabular format. There's a number of different ways we can do this. We can join it, and we'll talk about joining in a little bit here. But you can see I'm going to go through and add my data here and I have a minimum air temperature text file that I downloaded from the National Climate Center. I can open it up right here and this is what it looks like in ArcGIS. I have an attribute here for latitude, for longitude, the amount, this is the minimum air temperature on some day back in uh, back in January of 2012, the amount, the ID, the state, the city, and the elevation. Well, in order to make GIS data, I just need something that implies location here and if I have a latitude and a longitude I can turn these into point data and then using this amount right here I can make them larger or smaller based on graduated symbols here. Um, you can see here I added this as a text file in another instance I did the same exact thing as uh, I did the same exact thing and I added it to a database here so you can see this one was called NC climate right here these work a little bit better right here you can see it has an object ID that'll go through and add in but it still has the same general attributes that we downloaded here a number of different ways if we work with Excel data Excel data and ArcGIS sometimes have problems especially creating that object ID and also issues with file formats and attribute types, things that we want to be numbers, it treats as text and vice versa. So you have to be a little careful when you bring Excel data into ArcGIS. But here I have my minimum air temperature and you can see the option down here in my context menu is I can display XY data. And it asked me for my X field and my Y field. Now think about my X field is going to be my longitude. It moves east and west of our prime meridian our Y field moves north and south, kind of like our Y. The other thing it asks me here is a description. Okay, what coordinate system are we working with? And I can see that it's in latitude and longitude, so that's what we call a geographic coordinate system. If it gave me d uh, data or information in feet or meters, I'd have to dictate here in my edit dialog here, and I'd have to tell it that this is going to be a North Carolina State Plain or North America Equal Albers or whatever. So you need a little bit of knowledge, uh, a priori knowledge about what we have here. So you can see here it's already added in the geographic coordinate system for me. Okay, and I'm going to click OK. It's going to tell me right here, this is OK. It tells me that it doesn't have an object ID field. So after you create the layer, you can export it to a shapefile or a feature class. So in order to do any queries, we're going to have to export it. A lot of people don't do this second step. And we'll talk about how to do this. And I'm going to click OK. And you can see here, my minimum air temperature have been created here. Now, like it just said, we can't do any queries or anything like that. And you can see over here, it created something called an events file. An events file is a very dynamic file that's created within ArcGIS. The very first thing that I want to do when I create this is export it to a shapefile or a personal geo database. I'm going to export this to my personal geo database that I've been working with for this demonst demonstration information right here. Okay, and you can see here it's in GIS demo to MDB and I'm going to call this my minimum air temperature okay you can see on the drop down I can do shape files SD feature classes which we don't work with too much here my file um, file and personal geo database feature classes I'm gonna click OK and click Save and you're gonna see and it's gonna export about 5,000 of these different GIS uh, features here that we have in this particular events file you're gonna see it's exporting you can see the uh, status of the export right here if it asks me, yes, of course I want to add it. And once I do this, I'm going to go and get rid of that events file so we don't have to work with it again. So now we have an ArcGIS data layer here. I have an ArcGIS data layer right here, minimum air temperature represented by the blue dots. You can now see that I have an object ID. And now I can double click on these and these are just different error stations I can go down to quantities uh, I can look at say graduated symbols and under my value I'm gonna look at the amount okay, these are the air temperatures that we were looking at before this is the minimum air temperature so you can see here when we zoom out 
Okay, the bigger the dots represent the larger, the higher the air temperature. You can see as we go further and further north, the dots get smaller and smaller, which means the minimum air temperature was between negative 32 and 9 degrees. And this should make some sense here. As we move further and further south, the dots get bigger and bigger. But you can see here in this exercise, we talked about how we can create GIS data just given a latitude and a longitude, or a northing or an easting, or any of these different things using and you can see my, my dots here as I get further and further north. As I go further and further south here, you can see the dots get bigger and bigger here. Okay, and these were all created just from something that I thought was neat that I found off of the internet. Given me an X data, Y data, and I had to figure out which one was latitude and which one was longitude.